Hello and welcome to this video in the Facebook Ads Masterclass. In the previous video, we discussed retargeting our customers who visited our website. In the video, I explained that I do campaigns as a catalog sales for only one of my retargeting. So in the video we're doing today, you're going to learn how to set up your Facebook catalog as well as how to set up a catalog campaign. Before we get started, I just wanted to ask everyone who watches this video for a small favor. If this video helps you in any way, please subscribe to the channel. I release a training video daily on advertising, marketing, dropshipping, and Shopify. I do fund this channel through advertising and my consulting services so that I can keep putting out new content every single day. I truly believe that it's important to have a place where anyone who wants to learn these skills can come and learn free of charge. There are too many bad actors out there charging hundreds or even thousands of dollars hiding this information behind trainings and systems. Anyway, if you want to keep learning and support the channel, a subscription goes a long way. Thank you so very much and enjoy the video. To get started, open up your Shopify admin panel. On the left hand side, click on apps. And if you don't have this app installed, go and find the Flexify Facebook product feed app. This application will create the RSS feed we need to take our product catalog and send it to Facebook. Open the Flexify app and everything you need is already done for you. All you need to do to send your Facebook catalog is copy this address right here. We will be adding a small argument to the end which will help Shopify owners with a large catalog or many variants get their catalogs imported. Okay, open up your Facebook ads manager. Click the menu in the top left and in the third column, select catalogs. We need to add a new catalog. If you have a catalog inside of Facebook, you'll click the button in the top right that says create catalog. If you have no catalogs, it should be right in the center of the screen. Select option one, e-commerce. We will be uploading our product information, so select option one again. Okay, I own this catalog. Now update the name of the catalog so you can see it quickly in the list. This creates the shell of your catalog, but it doesn't have any products yet. On the left-hand side, you need to select products and click add product button that popped up. Select option two, use data feeds. Data source name can be whatever you want it to be. I'll just make it Slouch Buster Data Feed. We want to automatically upload the catalog. This is why we did an RSS feed. That way, when we change anything in our product catalog, it'll get updated on Facebook as well. This beats having to upload a spreadsheet every time you add a product or change a price. If you didn't copy the data feed address, go back to the Flexify app and copy your data feed address and paste it here. At the end of the address type question mark, no underscore variants. Don't set up a username and password as there isn't one set for the RSS feed. Last part, upload hourly. That way any updates made to the site will show up on Facebook within 60 minutes of the change. Click start upload and you're set. Okay, back to your ads manager. Let's create a new campaign and for objective, select catalog sales. Select your catalog from the drop-down list. Looks like ours hasn't populated yet, so let's just use this one for the moment. Put whatever name here for it and click Next. Now, at the ad set level, you can see things are completely different. Since I use these to retarget, we're going to select Retarget. And we select the first option, View or Added to Cart but Didn't Purchase, Go to 30 Days. That's all we need to do. The ad itself will be dynamically created for you with dynamic headlines and descriptions. Just like other ads, you can customize this how you want and with whatever arguments you want from your catalog or with your own data. I do suggest not getting too fancy and just get products back in front of customers to keep their attention. That's the whole point of the retargeting campaign, just to show them, hey, I still exist, come on back and finish your sale. That's all for this video. If it helped you at all, please give it a like and follow the channel for more daily advertising, marketing, Shopify, and dropshipping training. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.